Hey, how are y'all doing? Are things weird in your world? Like, like I don't know. I just got this weird, goofy, um, <clears throat> funny energy going on. Like, and we're gonna roll with it, okay? I felt a calling to um do a a, a DM a twin flame reading for y'all. And see, there goes my cards. Look, y'all, this energy. It's just silly. It's a silly energy. I don't understand. How did that just happen? This is a silly energy, y'all. I think, um, be careful. Lord Jesus, you're welcome here. Help. Be careful with whatever you're, you have planned to do. Um, if you have any plans this weekend, just be careful. Um, some of y'all might actually, uh, I'm picking up the energy, you might actually run into your, uh, your twin flame. Like, yeah, because some things happen on my end, but I know it's not that way. So, that's telling me, I think some of y'all are actually going to uh, encounter, could possibly encounter them. But don't go searching for them, you feel me? Don't go, don't go searching for them. <clears throat> Yeah, your twin flame wants to know, why are you doubting? Why would you doubt that? The problem is, is when you go searching, you know what I mean? You can, drive, you can literally drive, you, you need to function your everyday life. My whole CP. Function your everyday life. Yeah, there goes the amusement card again. Remember earlier, if you watched my video, the amusement card had been falling out. But some things aren't amusing. But I don't know, this is a really silly energy. Believe. Keep believing. Keep believing. Holy Spirit, please help. Help me to tap in. Whatever it is. Yeah, judgment card fell out again. So, when the judgment evaluate. Judgment card came in with evaluate. Okay, so, when I see the judgment card, what it almost reminds me of is a time of truth. A time of truth. Like, and it's definitely not good if you have been doing something that you ought to not be doing and you know it. You know what I mean? We do do things. We're human. The righteous man will fall seven times and he rises back up again, right? And judgment can call you out on that. Like, you falling, you know? So when I see the judgment card, it's just a time to really evaluate, like, your truth. Like, what is going on? You know, because we have judgment fall out with evaluate. So, and, and for this to be a twin flame reading and for these cards to fall out, I'm taking it that judgment is being called in your situation. So, like I said, it's not a bad energy. We have amusement. Amusement even came out. But your, your twin flame is surrender, surrendering to this connection. They possibly have a platform, and you'll find you'll find yourself within their platform. That you might be awoke before they are awoke. To be honest with you, you could have woken up before them, and they're stepping into it because we have surrendering. One of your guys' twin flames are letting you know that they're surrendering. They're evaluating their situation. Amuse it. Yeah, amusement is helping keep them uplifted. I do not feel this is negative amusement. I don't feel the negativity within it. They can see into the spiritual realm. You can also see into the spiritual realm. And that's why they know you're doubting. Because they can see and they can... They can fill you. And when you are H1 flame, they can see and they can fill you. Now, again, I'm going to tell y'all, be careful. Because there are something called karmics. They run off of evil energy. All right? I don't know why people try to make friends with these people. Yes, um, we are to be forgiving. We are. But we are not to tolerate nonsense. And we are to spread the truth, the gospel. All right? Period. If you don't like that, good day. I'll pray for you. But that's how we operate in this boat. Jesus Christ operates this whole boat. Okay. But um, 
but we're, we're not to judge each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used, I was raised in witchcraft. I was not raised to be a Christian. When my mo mother converted, I was already rebelled. Just to give you a little backstory about myself. Um, and I have 666 tatted on my body. So there's no judgment here. But, um, and I wasn't, I didn't worship the devil. I was just into darker art, so to speak. Very rebellious. Yeah, judgment sending right in the middle. So, I am failing in your relation relationship. Judgment is being called into this relationship. And this time, if you are both freed up of connection, yeah. If, if, if you're free, you're not dealing with any, because you shouldn't be. I know we get lonely. I know that we, but if you're, I'm going to, I keep it real. You come into my channel, baby, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not judging you. Okay, because I've been there, and it's very hard for me. We're all adults here. I'm lonely. You know, I have needs. For the first time in my my life, I have certain, I have needs, and I'm being quiet because my children, but I have those adult needs, you feel me? But I'm not just going to shack up with nobody, because I know how that goes, because I've been down that road, and I hope you don't either. But I also know that, um, you know, I, I, uh, some of y'all know, I have denied my twin flame journey. But, if you, you have a uh, swift increase coming in, okay? But, if you really, if you're, if you're serious about this connection, you want this connection to happen, you can't be with nobody. Like, I'm just keeping it real, because if you are, you have more healing to be done. You know what I mean? So, don't beat yourself up, but there's just, and don't think I'm beating you up, because I'm not. I would never do such a thing. I'm very compassionate, and I'm very caring, but there is judgment being called, and I think, the what I'm getting when I really look at these cards, because I'm trying to figure this out, you, you both can see into the spiritual realm, and your divine counterpart is telling you that judgment is being called in on y'all. So, you really need to evaluate your life, alright? Some of y'all, I think y'all are doing things that you shouldn't be doing, and you're going to learn from this, okay? Life is an everyday learning thing. It's not negative, alright? But amusement is carrying your divine counterpart through, because they don't know how else to cope. But swift increase is coming from some of y'all. And, yeah, some of y'all need to get away. Some of y'all are doing some things. You need to get away. You need to evaluate your situation. And you need to get away. Alright? I don't know what get away means. Only you know what that means. If you've been feeling a call to move, you need to take it to God. I had to move, too. If I, if none of y'all didn't know that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. But, um, I moved me and three children from across the United, uh, from across our country, like literally somewhere I didn't know where I was going. We lived in a hotel for a year. God was faithful. He was just, I wasn't very smart about the move. I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew I had to get away and I knew I was called to come out this way. But God was faithful. He was just, he set up people to help and they helped. They helped, uh, they helped really take, to be honest, take good care of us until I could really get on my feet. And I'm still getting on my feet, but we are very blessed and I'm very thankful. So, never be afraid. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it means it's possible. Something about your computer screen. Love. Maybe that could be significant to somebody. And if it is, that's just validating. Uh, that's just a validated message for you. That this is for you, okay? You don't, don't make messages fit. If they resonate, they resonate. What is going on? Come on, let's tap into this for real. All right. Divine counterpart, what's going on? Come on. What are you trying to say? Why don't you stay? Do you, do, do you love how I said that? I'll mess my words up, y'all. I said, um, I don't know. You can rewind it if you want to hear it. I said stay and then the card fell out. Validation for you on me. Yeah, the time has come. The time has come. For your creative arts to come through. 
right? And this can be significant to somebody. If you're an artist, if you if you write or anything like that, right? Anything like that at all, use your connection within your art. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna help. Like, if you like to write or you like music, you like to do music, artists love to try to capture love within the art because there's a greater understanding of love. And love covers a multitude of sins. Everybody needs love. So love is one of the favorite things that I've noticed and that I've read about that artists and creators, like even on entertainment levels, you know what I mean? Like, they love to try to capture love because love is, it's pure, It's love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, so we're just talking about love is a beautiful thing. Some of y'all are highly in love. Your divine counterpart is highly in love with you. They have nothing but positive energies, my friend. Pull, learn from their positive. Pull from their positive. Alright? And don't listen to the rumors. Whatever that means. I can't know what everything means. I just deliver for you. Some of y'all have to figure it out yourself. You know what I mean? I ain't going to try. I ain't even going to pretend. You know what I'm saying? Why would I do such a thing? It's stupid. I am me. We are we. They're weird. You have a really weird twin flame. Don't worry. We're all kind of weird. There's nothing wrong with being weird. If you think there's something wrong with being weird, you still got a lot of healing to do, my friend. Yeah, don't believe every spirit. And listen, let me tell you something. Okay, so we're going to just end it on now. Do you really think... Okay, so... Something bad over a period of time, over a season, it will expose itself. Because it can't hold true to what it's not. Does that make sense? So, over a period of time, you're going to see the true colors shine. Alright? But let me tell you something. Badness does not come to you as badness unless you're okay with badness. You know what I mean? If that is your cup of tea, all right? Which I don't make friends with that. It's either you going up or you going down, all right? I'm not here to be your friends. I'm not here to tell you, like, oh, blase, blase, blase. And I'm not being judgmental or nothing. I'm just saying I don't do that. So if you're on my channel, no, um, I don't know what you do in here. But the blood of Jesus chokes out every breath within you. So don't you try to, try to even come up in here and mess with these people or me. All right? We are divinely protected. So child of God, you have nothing to worry about. All right? We don't play that here. We ain't got no time for that. Either you convert or you don't. All right? But yeah, baggage. Some of y'all got some baggage, okay? And that baggage, while we talking about evil spirits, uh, can come in the form. You know what I mean? What I'm, only thing I want you to know, it's not like spending a lot of time in that. And you know, I'm not in that energy, and I don't welcome that energy. Period. All right, we're safe. But a lot of people are being deceived in this hour because when you can see the, a lot of people are being deceived. Just know that. Just be careful, okay? Be careful. Um, these things will like to grab at you, get you going, get you going, get you, and then help you crash. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Help you really have a downfall. Help you really get down and out and depressed because it's taking from you, okay? So it will uplift you and it will take from you. Don't allow that to happen, all right? So don't trust every spirit. Everybody carries a spirit. Every single person carries a spirit. I roll with the Bible, all right? I believe in the Bible. I don't judge anybody else, and but I do roll with the Bible. And the Bible sits there and tells us that if somebody denies Christ, they, they are walking with the Antichrist spirit, something you don't want to walk with, all right? But how can you know somebody denies Christ unless you ask them? You feel me? So just... Just understand there are spirits out there and they love to take hold of these kind of things like like if you like if you have a twin flame connection they love to try to come and tamper with this because this is a holy and sacred thing all right so be under understand that karmics will try to come in because they want your energy supply but they can't have it in the mighty name of Jesus all right 
but they want your energy supply. So, yeah, some of y'all are going through regret. But they, uh, so, yeah, because, you know, the evil things that try to come at you, yeah, they end up regretting they even tried to come at you, all right? That's how that goes, baby. But, um, but I want you to know that just, just be careful. Just be careful, all right? I was, when I was caught up for two years with a, a car medic, uh, he, he was car medic. He was never going to convert to God, but I could have sworn he was. And I also... I could sit there and tell you that my inner chambers were invaded because I was going against God. All right. I was going against God. And so my inner chambers, which is my inner being, was able to be intruded, though I was still protected. It, it took time to get it out of me. All right. And God came through as my world twin flame. But recently, like, no, I want nothing to do with that. So, but I am here to serve you. I am here to help you the best I can to let you know that you are not alone, but also not to paint this pretty picture for you because I don't want you to fall. I don't want you to hurt. All right. But be advised. Be very advised. There is badness out there. All right. But we don't pay attention to that. All right. I just don't want nobody to get People are getting sick from this. People are mentally getting sick. Like I said, we're not spending too much time there. I just want you to be advised of this if you didn't know. People are mentally getting sick from these connections because some of them do not have true connections. What they have is karmatic con connections, and it's making them sick. If you cannot function, you are sick. You need healing. Or you are just hopping into this thing, and God's going to help you. And he said, you know what I mean? Because you can't spend your... You're, everybody's like, more time in the 5D. And I'm like, no, man, they need balance. Stop telling everybody they need to spend more time in the 5D. No, there needs to be balance. We need, we need to spend more time in balance between the 5D and the 3D. Balance it out, okay? Because if you spend too much in the time in the 5D, you can get sick. And if you spend too much time in the 3D, then you don't have your 5D. You know what I mean? You don't have your spiritual walk, all right? But there needs to be balance. And I don't want none of y'all being sick from this, okay? I've been sick from it, all right? So I know. You know what I mean? That's what, another reason why I do what I do. Because God tells me, like, you need to, you need to help, some, cause help some of these people know that I'm not into all this. You know what I mean? Like, he has his hand on some, but not as much as you think. And not as much that claims their hand is there, his hand is there. It's not. Alright, but I'm not saying that about you. I'm just saying, please be careful and be advised, alright? There are karmetics out there. Don't spend all your time in the YouTube world, okay? You need to be doing pro uh, proactive and productive things. AD, uh, uh, yeah, you need to be doing activities within your world. And maybe you're a creator. Create. Don't be afraid. And don't think you're still on anybody's ideas. We're a team. We work together. I love you. I believe in you. I wish you many a blessings. And I encourage you, whatever you do, do it. Because you can reach people that other people can't. Don't pay attention to numbers. All right? I mean, angelic numbers. You know you know what I mean? Like, if you see repeating numbers, that's different. But when it comes to your platform, don't pay attention to numbers. Do not pay attention. All right? That one person matters. There might be one person that you can save their freaking life that do you really think that one person don't matter that one person matters and that one person is counting on you they need you we all need you we all believe in you lord jesus christ i lift up the viewer to you I ask that you bless them, that you keep them guarded from all enemy lines. Do not let the enemy breach the system in any way. Protect this vessel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We seal this vessel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing evil can breach the system. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that you please send out your angels and protect this divine vessel, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast out all evil in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil stands here. Only peace, love, grace, harmony. And I ask, Lord Jesus, that you please help this divine, beautiful couple come into union and to be together, Lord Jesus. Help hold them in their struggle when they are down. Hold them, uplift them with your righteous hands. Cover them with your wings of 
pure safety, Lord Jesus, and just help the viewer, help them to be okay, help them to know that you reign in there, so therefore they can do all things through you, our wonderful Lord and Savior. Help them to understand the beauty of their past, the beauty of their present, the beauty of the future, even if they don't have what it is they want, they have what they need. Help them to understand this, Lord Jesus. Help them to understand how blessed they are. Help them to understand and how much of a blessing gratitude is and how much it will help them and it will uplift them help their creativeness their creative walls to just bust open lord jesus help them to overflow with your mighty hands in the mighty name of jesus christ amen i wish you many blessings and la -da 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 -da. Do -do 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 -do. until next time yeah